Arno, tell us about the decision you go through when you look at uh, implementing a new codec and, and what is the last codec that you added to your player stack? Um, so um, I would say, you know, um, widespread comp compatibility is uh, the first thing. Uh, uh, I would look at. Um, we actually uh, we are in a multi-platform world um, where you can't just you know uh, push content to one specific mm -hmm. channel. You have to push on social media, on mobile apps, uh, on your website. And uh, I would say that my experience and what I'm getting from our customers is for people dealing with industrial quantity, quantity having an, a prototyping um, strategy, an end-to-end -end, uh, strategy to test and validate your encoding uh, from the server to the end device is you know, of paramount uh, importance because um, for example, we found out with the customer that Instagram at the moment doesn't support AV1 in WebM uh, format. It does work with H.265 MP4, but if you try to upload a WebM AV1 uh, video to Instagram, it will come back with an error message saying incompatible file format. And they are using you know, WebM and everyone to stream with the MPEG dash uh, to the mobile apps and website with our player, but they still need to go, you know, to other channels and other platform. And this is a world we live in today. We have to push on various platforms, various devices. So, um, for people who are dealing with large quantity, it's very important to make sure that once you push, uh, you know, encoding command, all the chain from the you know server to the CDN to the player to the viewer, you know, because now we're talking about what the viewer is, is experiencing in terms of visual interface with HDR and other, you know, new visual effects like 3D. So yes, having that strategy is important if you want, you know, to not make mistake and, you know, run through a lot of costs of having to re-encode hundreds and hundreds of, 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 you know, video because you miss one specific platform you wanted to support. Okay. Well, Ben, walk us through again the codex you support. I guess it's ABC and HEVC. And how how difficult was the decision to implement HEVC? And, and tell us about that decision. What did you consider? Uh, well, in our case, because most of our um, customers using first screen, B screen for for the watch television, uh, we let's say have easy easy decision and it was um, uh, we implemented last code which we implemented was HVC it was almost two or three years ago uh, decision was driven by bandwidth saving or the top rank especially which is the most watching on, on all these, uh, our customers uh, HVC brought serious cost saving and it has uh, become let's say de facto standard that in our uh, system um, it has a wide, at that time, it has a, a wide support on co consumer devices, making the switch from AVC relatively smooth. In our case, cr a crucial moment was that all first screen devices, which we take the biggest impact in viewership, uh, supported HVC in that time. Uh, but there is another, another side of that story. Uh, the more codec we support, the more expensive the, the system is. Uh, so like we are, we starting with AVC and we and we, you put in HEVC uh, on top of that. Let's say we have we reach uh, forty percent your bits, but you're not reducing the bits on the edge and on the storage. So it's not uh, just decreasing the cash cost on the, the and the distribution cost by by forty percent, and uh, it because you still have AVC and now you have HEVC, and in future we have AV1 on top of it. We are also increasing for storage and network cost uh, for 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 a primary distribution. So uh, there is one very good behavior in uh, of the viewership at telcos which we supported. Let's say just top thirty or uh, even top twenty channels have viewership rate around ninety percent. Related to this, uh, telco operators that we support implement HVC just on those top, uh, let's say twenty to thirty channels and have really big reduction on average bit rate, which gave them a, a really good cost saving. So that's what, how we implement HVC and make it.